is sitting, yeah. mm -hmm. moving around that operator. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of similarities in Ospos and Demon 1 and how you have to call around a player like that, and I think they both do it excellently. And I think for NRG, I see a lot of that sort of uh, variation off of a default on their attacking side, right? Because they're usually playing a lot more of these control heavier comps, you know, Solo Sky and stuff like this. The way they work for mid space and then veer off of that without giving you a clue as to which way they're going to early, I think that's what NRG's real strength is on the call. It's gonna be another big matchup here for Levitan. If we're already had to take on some heavyweight squads and much of that rests on King's shoulders. So let's head back to Elizabeth and hear from the IGL himself. King, can I have a word with you really quickly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Sorry. obviously, um, I'm convincing win against Sentinels and... Yes! <laughs> hey, bro, hey, hey! <laughs> Get out! I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry! Match um, Hi, King! Right, King? I know, oh, you're okay. Um, so obviously, a convincing win against Sentinels last week. How is that confidence going into facing NRG today? I mean, it's the only thing we needed to, to keep, to like, improve as a team, and we have it against one of the best teams, arguably. So now, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Well, best of luck. Yep. Bro. I mean, pretty convincing until he was like, hey, bro, hey! And I'm like, oh, <laughs> nah, wait a minute. Nah, someone's got to stop sussy. that, man. <laughs> he needs to try to sneak his way back into play somehow. <laughs> bro, he's been conditioning us by wearing shades Every on day. all of his casts, yeah, right? So now Who you know, was that? King up there on the Discord, baby, by himself. Who was that? Wonder, he's just going to be playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he gets in there and starts schmeeing and rolling back the years. I'd love to see that. So on top of Levy Tart further, going by their track record, there's a couple outcomes today. They'll probably go into overtime, and there's a good chance that this man, Aspas, will farm. That's right, folks, we're finally getting on to this topic. Aspas broke the single map kill record on Lotus. 47 kills. That was a hugely long map. Still incredible. And in 29% of maps, which is 4 out of 14, he has dropped 30 plus kills. Who is going to stop this man? Uh, it's tough to say because he's someone with a calculator. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's so ridiculous. Sentinels could not shut this man down. When he's flying on the race, he's sick. When he's flying on the jet, he's sick. He can play all these roles at an incredibly high level. He integrates into his team's ideas. And, uh, I mean, he's just I a superstar. So. Which is why today the matchup against Demon One, even if you're discounting all the fun stuff about the IGLs and the placement of the teams, just in terms of watching two incredible players face off, that matchup is going to be ridiculous. This is just the best balance of the week. Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, if there was to be someone to match him, it, it would be oh, Demon 1. Was, it really looked like at the end of that Sentinels game that King was, King was bowing to Aspas. No, I could see all their faces like, I would guys, if we, lose this, if we lose this, Aspas is not going to talk to us for a week. <laughs> like, he might be out of here. Like, we don't even know. We've got to kick this guy here. I'm we didn't know that timeline where he dropped almost 50 and that, like, it was so possible. It was in deep OT. Don't even, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. I, I, I do want to say, though, that, like, well, obviously, like, Aspas did have a ridiculous game. It's not like like it was a 1v9 show, especially in the first half. Like the first half of yeah. Lotus, when they played against Sentinels, when they went 9 and 3 up, Aspas had 14 kills in 12 rounds. Like, that's good, but that's not like ridiculous numbers performances. And I think what uh, Lev were doing a really good job of I was in those get. opening brawls, trading off each other very nicely. Good utility. It was those fights that they were winning out. And that was Probably not, the yeah, yeah. Right. That was yeah. not due to just an insane raise player. That was often the supporting staff getting the majority of kills. Yeah, a lot of the time people think playing duelists is just like hold W and win your kills, but actually no, it's, there's so many layers when it comes to it. When it comes to playing that role, you need to be able to have a support system. You need to be able to have a sort of idea of what's going on and you need to be able to catch those consistencies that the other team is doing and take and abuse those weaknesses. And I feel like Aspas is such a smart player, not only insane mechanically, but his brain. He is a giga brain, low key. When it comes to that duelist role, a lot of people cannot even step up and do what duelists do. A lot of people in the community, I think, got the kind of notion after this game that Leviathan was a team that was carried by Oscar. I understand why. He got almost 50 kills in one map. But as you're saying, Chrissy, that's not the case. I don't think their identity is just that Ospos is an insane individual. I think similar to when Loud was at his best, at their best, when they won the championship with Ospos in peak form, it was in large part because of how good he was. But what makes it possible is how the team builds around him, how King is calling for this star player. And 
and how I, I think how many different looks they can show, right? Being able to change up different ideas throughout a game and really build around him in a great way. Yeah, you saw it even in like in the, in the, in the clips there where uh, like Tex was playing back yellow on Icebox behind a hard wall. A lot of times with uh, Le Leviathan or on Icebox no. playing heavy with the hard wall, that's usually an Icebox on that angle too, but instead they're playing off some Killjoy utility as well. Yeah, I, for me though, I feel like I'm not fully convinced that if you removed Oscar's dragon power from the equation, that left would be as strong oh, as it is. For yeah. sure. No, for sure. <laughs> okay, okay. But seriously, I feel like I have no clue what is like behind the What do they look like if he goes off the boil? Exactly, yeah. Right? Like I have no clue what it looks like. For me, I don't necessarily feel like they have the best fundamentals. I mean, look at their first series against C9. It was, exactly. a, it was a disaster. It, it in was that so target. sloppy that looking and watching back, it does not make me convinced that Lev as a team is complete unless Akash and they're up against a team that has the best fundamentals exactly. probably in the league. I need some prints here. Let's jump into those right now. Stop with Chrissy. Oh, I don't want to do it. Um, honestly, I, I, I put Lev in my number two team before the year. I'm going to go Lev 2-1, but I, that's, yeah, that's crazy. It's 2-1 NRG. 2-1 yeah. NRG. 2-1 NRG, uh, there's always a good It's going to be good Valorant. It's good. Yeah, again, like you said, some of the best Valorant of this week. That's what you guys are ready for. So strap yourselves in and hold on to your saddles. Our teams are ready for walkouts. So let's send it down to the stage for NRG versus Levy Guitar. Oh, shit. Here we go, boys. And there they are, the boys. Ten kills remaining. <laughs> this man. Dude, the energy logo looks kind of clean, no? I like the plushies. They already do map picks and bams, I have no idea. I don't think they did, because I've been watching for a minute. I'm guessing they still have to do it. A huge game like this, a lot of questions still remain about the quality of both these teams. Two self-proclaimed super teams here of the Americas region. NRG are pretty low energy in general. One oh, kill Jen, remaining. Talk to any of their players. They're calm, collected, not subject to the sort of whims of momentum. Leviathan also have been able to conquer some pretty difficult obstacles here without overheating. This really is a great tone setter, I think, for the rest of Super Weekend, even for the rest of this stage, these heavyweights throwing down. I think both these teams have two very different questions. For Leviathan, it's about that performance against Sentinels. If that can be consistent, if Osbos isn't putting up those numbers, can they still beat the best? Because that first series was not great from this team, losing out to C9 in super sloppy fashion. They have a lot to prove there. But for the side of NRG, yeah, that is kind of sick. as well, they haven't played a team the level of Le Lev yet in stage one. Yeah, I mean, they, they played against a loud that was coming hot off Madrid, right, without a lot of time. And then, of course, Furia, too. So I agree with you on that front. This is the big competition. Wow, that's just looks tired. Today. Yeah, I think like like this team have a lot to go for, for sure. But I am just really, really interested to see how both these teams manage to shut down the other's duelist. I feel like so that true. is going to be the name of the game. I really feel like this is going to be so explosive because both these duelists are going to be trying to go for things that they probably shouldn't, or maybe they're gonna be getting shut down, hopefully. <laughs>
Hearing about hearing from Sadhak now, again, that game maybe don't read too much into it uh, against NRG. He said he loved, he relished the opportunity to shut down star players on opposing teams. He played with Aspas, he knew what the mentality of a star daughters was like. He loved trying to, you know, target them and bring them down a notch. That did not work against NRG. They ran rough shot over allowed, who were a little bit wobbly coming off that. Wondering when it's like being a pro sunset player. Oh, wait, Sunset Vines. Oh, actually, this map pool is pretty sweet because I feel like Sunset Vines challenge very different things, right? Sunset. A really tiny map, really scrappy, bind a little bit more. Even Lotus. And if we make it to a third map, it is duelist 1v1. Well, they played, one. They played so Phoenix on Sunset mm. many times, no? Interesting, interesting. Yes. Like yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. That feels like a fake fever dream, but that was real. That did happen. But it's also fake. Don't do it again. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of an ugly game that was in general, but that's definitely something that they peddled out at the start of this stage, whether or not they're sticking to that is another story entirely. And look, we've seen a bit of this sunset play from NRG. Like, you know, they've been able to group up Marved over on towards that A side here. They have a lot of that flash util uh, and can really leave Victor in control of that weak side, right? This is a map where NRG style gets to shine a lot, leaving that in safe hands. Into the agent's life now here, and it looks like NRG is going to be kind of continuing through with this comp. There is only um, KO Gecko so Cypher. Here on Sunset, the KO Gecko, I think right now, is straight up the strongest comp you can play. They dumpstered on loud with this one last time. And really, just I agree. To look at Demon One Ray's War, yeah. right? Which I think we're just always looking for more tape on that to see how it is. Absolutely. And, and you have so many tools to set up your Ray's player with this comp. Those Gecko KO combinations with both the flashes coming at you at once. It, it could be a I feel like NRG don't usually North. play yeah, Breach. That breach pick from Lev. I'm looking for more trap. Oh, yeah, they don't really usually play breach. To kind of shut down Demon One from getting those entries. Here it is, Leviathan, a much less silly mm. looking composition this time around on Sunset. We're ready to get into game, so it's time to head it over to your casters. You're in good hands, folks, because we've got Doug and Baby Bay. Baby Bay. Damn. So much Uber Dre, I think one of the benefits of a match like this is that you don't really have to add anything additional for people to get excited. Demon one up against Asa. How many sunglasses does Baby got, bro? Every, every single day? The script writes itself, and this should be a banger. Yeah, especially with Leviathan winning against Sentinels, the Madrid champions, which is actually insane. And the, yep. the way that they did it with Aspas going absolutely nuclear. He's still faded? Them. Can he replicate yeah. that against I the feel squad that. of I feel NRG that. who, if you've watched their comm videos from Celebrating the all weekend, weekend yeah, baby, easy. Furia, but it was so clean when I was listening to this. And Man, energy just he has the sunglasses for a reason. In on their strats, on their wind conditions, as time has gone on. I wonder, how, like, I wonder what percentage of the viewers are sober right now. <laughs> what? He dishes it right back. All right, well, we're off to the races. Energy attacking, love defending. Going back to A here, just grouping up, but they still have a lurker Victor to hold the flank. He's not gonna get any action, but wow. you already see the very fast execute. Okay, Chad, I feel like as soon as these series usually start, the first very first attack round usually is very fast. Such a luxury, such a benefit to be able to play from this position. First you gotta feel things out, you know? I can tell first game on is like you you feel things out for catching anybody off one, two, six rounds. From that same one way that he mm, already cleared. Ethan's sending in his own one way. Blinded, he's nearsighted, he can't see a damn thing. Mazino's there in the trade, and it's all gonna fall down Last to Kong. Player standing. Kong on a cypher roll against a very weak demon. One, Kong wins out the 1v1, and the pistol goes well away. by Kong. That's insane. Damn. It was a 3v5, but the omen flash from King actually got two players there. One on default and one back sight. And that was the big pivotable damn, pivotal point Damn, King with a good omen that flash. Round. That brought it back for Lev. That was fast. That was a fast round. Like that was around that should have gone the way of energy. Audio? Yeah, you just watch Ethan win and lose the round in this game. Yeah, yeah, actually. The cage went down at the, as he tried running away. I mean, he knew the cage. Diamond won. He overstayed. Like I think he's that's so toxic. Like he wanted to stay. Kamal's died in the net. Beans in the server. Oh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. And something to point out a little here bit, is okay. Com is playing the cipher on this map, and normally that's Texas' role on this team. But Tex, you know, the second map is Bind, and Texas is known for playing Gecko on it. Guys, so guys, guys! I have energy lights on right now. You want me to change them or no? What do you guys want for the lights? And Com is already delivering. We see him win that one v one. He's been the recipient of criticism. 
for the majority of the split. Audio is low, low key, yeah. It wasn't up until last weekend that he was able to silence some of the. You guys want blue lights? Why? Thoughts about this squad and whether or not it's coming together. Hmm. And kind of what the ceiling is for them. So, really encouraging if you're a fan of Leviathan for Calm to be clicking the way he was. And again, that was in the face of a 3v5 at the very beginning of the round. Like they yeah. had full numbers, they had space, they had everything. Yeah, I already know Chet's backstage over there just. just beating himself up over what just happened watching that because there's no world in which energy should lose that they had the complete advantage kill the lights scenario but the utility was just not quite there it's oh my god why is my face so white this round in the previous the round it was just a heavy push down mid which went the favor of Ener in the way of energy but this time much more cautious mm -hmm. yeah these eco rounds have been the lights are kind of nice so crazy in vct this year i feel like we've seen so many Crazy things, especially left. out of C9 and all these other teams, but anybody can really Ooh, do it. Big shot. Save yeah. round here for NRG. 20 seconds, by the way. Nothing special. The usual. King was gonna swing there, the there we go. The Is it a kill day? Just such a brutal trap. A flash. And they got plants? And plants? Alright, one take go. it. One kill. Take it. One kill, that's two armors. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of work for Scratchies, yeah. Bomb plant, yeah, two orbs. Not a bad yeah. yeah, they didn't get a lot of guns. And he died? Wait, I think he's one off. One off, two off. And then ran all yeah. the way back to A, got a bomb plant. Actually, schools to get gold through seeing. Alright, look, I'll try not to steal content from Tarek too much. It's just that it's so nice hearing the perspective of like him and then the other players using gold. It was fine. Interesting that they chose to funnel that diffuse orb into the hands of Tex. Yeah, I mean, Gecko all on this map is so insane. I, I feel like I've broken a record when I talk about it because these Geckos get alts so fast, sometimes three, yeah. four, a half. And it is definitely the character that you want it on. It's so easy to farm the orb on the Gecko on both sides. Oh, it's aggressive. Double satchel huh? mid. Hmm? He's already taken the middle of the map. Yeah, I think he got found out, though. So Interesting. I wonder why he double satchel just to go back. Even then, though, you, I mean, you're gonna have to invest a fair amount of utility to take the space back. Oh, and I like this from NRG. They heard the Deagle break the Cipher Cam of Victor, and they're opting to hit that side of the map, understanding that that is the weak gun. So really reading into that. Hmm. With no real idea of what's happening around it either. Yeah, no noise. Already one off of his gecko ult. That's at insane. All. They lost the last two rounds. So if the orb is up, which I believe mm, energy be, playing the map well this yeah, round. There it is. Crash use will get his ult online. They're gonna presumably ult out onto B. The thing is, Levithan are already ahead of it. They have four here. They're gonna commit to it anyway. Oh, that That's gonna hurt. Bolt, no Damn, did that breach C actually just save them? But they're choosing to brute force their way into this. Persistent in their approach. And Damn. They may then just roll over NRG. It's just Marv who's alive now. A 1v5 against poor weaponry. It's not delivering this time. What I think the breach the thing actually big saved big the round. round win. Winning bonus just fuels it. Presumably F4B. Yeah. Already ahead of him. They have four here. They're gonna commit to yeah, blasted. He couldn't oh even my use it. God. Oh, no longer a factor, and they've been hit. But bombs down too. But they're choosing to brute force their way into this. Oh. Persistent in their approach, and it's a grinder. Dude, that, that was worst case scenario. What just happened? It's just Marv who's alive now. A one v five against Pro. Wait, wait, wait. It's actually it's worse. For the oh my God, he saved his aftershock. Big, big the aftershock fucked him. That was big. Yeah. Just fuels your confidence as a the team. Aftershock. And the way they wanted to, right? So convinced that that was gonna be it. Can't even say anything. And okay, but come on. <laughs> the instant timeout. We saw the breach. It's a bad call, but like, Rev deserved that route. Because well, yeah. of that, I'll oh, just die there for free. And then that stun. It's obvious. Three, They're going B. It's the only the orb hit. they can get. And yeah. You're saying it's only because the they didn't go for the orb? The entry for they couldn't like, get the A orb. And that caused the right? timeout right away. They know Gecko is one away from all. They yeah. didn't yeah, take B yeah. made right away. Then he gets on the orb at like mid round. Right before they hit. Of course you're going to hit B. I, if they fake that strat, so an outrageous start for Leviathan. I think like they kind of fell for the bait. They should have gone mid or something. Just make it feel like energy they should have had three guys walk up mid while Gecko is in Victor. And it's really GG. Give Wingman a knife. Damn, see, this is why I like hearing in because that's actually so interesting to listen to. Like, 
the whole thing where it's like, oh, it's all, they expected it because they saw he was one away. I swear to God, it's like something that's so underrated is just looking at old Torb points. Old Torb points actually, or like, old progress actually gives you so much information. It's insane. Yeah. But they still somehow lose some of the matches that they play. So this it tells you a lot to figure out if they actually understand how to about where to maybe be going when all they get of that. the advantage. Four stingers invested for the attack side. Both flashes out, Demon once lit up, and Aspas just has his way mm. with them. All the oh, the thrifty. The plan is to go fast and aggressive. No. They're doing so. The spike has been planted. They've created some space. Even upgraded we two We might weapons. be fine, guys. We might be fine. And it might be getting worse. Mazino falls. King follows suit. Tex kept at bay by a trip. Now has to reposition. And if he goes to the market, he's going to find another. Hey, wait. That was actually a goaded timeout. Yeah. Energy yeah, win. got to just save right now. Yeah, first it was the trip, then it would have been crashies and. Ooh, sorry, Chad. I'm like kind of tired today. I don't know why. A cipher chip hit him. I do not know why. It's like that one time. You guys remember I did the other watch party? I watched one game and then I fell asleep and then I forgot to watch the second game. Not that much. It's like I'm kind of there again. How much value you got the round before? This was like night and day. So already a, a small adaptation made from NRG to just do an explosive hit into that round, not get stuck behind any utility, not get stuck in the choke, and just trade. I think the chess game will be really interesting to watch too, because I think, given what we know about NRG, they it's like to though, out the energy. and then respond. Yeah. So if you know that you've got this crazy delay on the other side with Cypher Trips, with Fault Lines, with Paranoias, with Gecko, Util as well, you either go really fast to get ahead of it, yeah. or you feel it out, draw it out, and then hit the other area of the map. So it'll be interesting to see what their approach is here. Yeah, especially when you play against that breach. Like you stated, you have to try to get that quick timing, explosive timing, because if he's there and ready for you, that utility is going to absolutely destroy you. Does Tex flash out of this? Oh, it's going to be too late now. They're all in the smoke! Damn. What happened, bro? What a round! I mean, they hard read into that. They had two players in market and two players top mid into the smoke to converge on mid if they heard anything. But they didn't need to. All they need to do was just wait their turn. Wait to hear any Peek sound. Peekaboo, energy, the Q. The Q wait, what happened though? Like, hmm. So. Oh, oh, just walked right I into mean, them for free. Had time out in the market. Very time out though. Yeah, really. There's no way to just suck it. They didn't need to. All they needed to do was just wait their turn. Wait, they will use it at seven one. Yeah, yeah, he really will. The cue this time around was just the contact made in the smoke. Can we get a check cam after that round? I want to see him face palm. It makes me happy. What is this? What is this? They knew. From uh, from the on. What a start. Oh, they were gonna fight me no matter what. Funnel energy into this A site. Because they are committing on this retake blue. with cypher yeah. trips to try to get spam kills. And energy should have a good idea of this because cyphers usually aren't the ones that push into B main with the main pack. So I do expect a lot of cautious play here. Leviathan are already here, man. Even if they give up some of the space, they have all of this retake utility. The question is do they flood or do they wait? Oh, the breach shot's gone. That has to buy some time. Can they stabilize? Can they hold them back? Zeno still patiently waiting. You see that first paranoia come out from Marv. Nothing found yet. The knife managed to be dodged by Mizino. So now they're able to go. The question is how many will they hit? The paranoia is certainly gonna help, but Vic still gets one. But King oh with three gosh. on the round response. It's a lot of now. Is Can King? King do it on his own? So interesting, I want to say, oh no, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure NRG have tried Demon 1 on, oh shit, bro, oh no, oh no, no, they threw off time is short. Aspas has to stick it. Crashies can play the super well. Oh, 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 the classic betrays Oh my god. And there's just nothing he can do oh about that. His crosshair's god. on the head, but that oh inaccuracy god. from the classic. 
It just doesn't going. go his way. Okay, I hate Pure that RNG. everyone's spamming super we team in that. my chat, bro. Can we take a step back though and talk about King? This guy Dude, just whoa. went crazy on that retake. <laughs> that first bullet in accuracy of the glass. I think him spinning insane. Loki helped a lot. It did, it did. Boy, he's it did. Hey, helped a King lot. He's sitting at 11 and 3 right now. What, okay, can I we talk yelling. about King, though? He, like, yeah, we didn't see his kills. We didn't see his kills. We didn't see the brown kills. He got four, yeah. You have Gekko Walt. That is insane. I don't know how they lost. Or I don't know how they won were going to win, but then somehow, I don't know. Crucial, crucial. It was like a roller coaster of a round. Slow mid approach. Yeah, it seems like a lean towards B. You've got Cypher Util here. Comms waiting on the other side. Zeno not far off. That one way is miserable. And stun not used yet either. Mm. Patience. Yeah, Mazino holding on to that. Now it comes out. Everyone thought Demon left. 1 was Demon good until they saw Ass Pass. Dude, no one even watches the official stream. Like, look, this has 20k viewers. Tarek stream has like 55k. Finesse has 20k. Psalm has 10k. Like, People like walk, do the watch parties way more. Does he know there's another? No, Certainly so. Goes up top. Marv joins him. It makes a lot of sense. Oh my gosh. Dude, King is. Yo. King is on one. He's, he's so fast right now. Poor Vic. He's just on the other side of the map. He was the win con had they actually gotten into A site. He would have wrapped all the way around. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't get to that. That was really good proactivity from the side of Leviathan. Doubling up there, King and Osboss. Taking that A fight. And that was a Dude, who's yeah, Levy even sponsored by? Crashies, but it got shot down See, so like, one company on their thing. Crashies actually popped that rocket. Look at this guy. The King has just been oh my God. Man possessed. It's not over yet, though, especially when it comes to Leviathan. I feel like they put themselves in such a great spot, but somehow in these maps, they can definitely slip away. Well, it's aggressive here, and King continues to farm. Lighter weaponry on the attack side, sure. But they continue to have their way with NRG. Yeah. And this Gecko all just a re-clear out of everything. Mm. Marv tried to finesse it. It's caught off guard. Love, Love seems to be playing a couple steps pretty ahead. well. You know what I think? I can actually see Love being one of the best teams in the world. Or like a potential like champions winner this year. I think the only reason people don't see Love is like completely unstoppable is they had a very slow start. But I feel like Lev's the kind of team where it's like EG. Where if they can find their footing, they will be unstoppable. The team flash as well. Oh, whoa. Whoa. That boy Tex. 14 and 4. Another time. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Chat's about to pause. Oh, yeah, pause. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this pause. is actually a chat pause. This is actually a chat pause. That boy Tex. A chat yeah, pause. We know too well, Sam. Yeah, we actually know him too well. <laughs> For King, I think the other thing I saw pop up on the screen is that already used. Yeah. For NRG. Damn, they actually knew. Wait. This is their map pick, too. And Wait, that round King got a 4k, was that an eco for NRG or was it a gun round? Gun round. They want to be able to it set was, the yeah, pace, yeah, but so was. far, starting with that pistol round, I think it was just such a devastating loss that it's kind of hard to bounce back from I'm never worried about teams though, or like, Valorant is such a volatile competitive game, it's like with no consistency at all, so like, so it's like I'm not worried about energy. I could see them losing game one, winning the other two. I could see them going losing O2. I could see anything happening, right? Nothing surprises me. I think for Leviathan, there were a lot of questions, right? How good can this team really be? April 23rd. Much like the conversation we had yesterday. Early payout is not over at all. It's not even close to center fling. We're going to find out Leviathan are real if they can win without Asfas dropping 45 or whatever every single time. If it's going to be in the series. Yeah, if it's going to be him and King or, you know, how this is all going to come together. Will Kong continue to deliver much like we saw in the previous week? They've answered every single question. This is kind of exciting, though, because you're not expecting it. Yeah. To come back in the Here's path. the thing with expecting and not expecting things. If this was like 90% of other competition, I'd say they're like upsets would be rare, but yeah. One thing I've learned about playing and just watching Valorant for these two, three years is that this is an ex this is like the most volatile form of competition I've ever seen. 
Consistency is so rare. Even the league has more consistency. Um, so it's like nothing will ever surprise me, pretty much. Like, yeah, energy are probably expected to win, but at the same time, it's like lever actually really fucking good and inconsistent game, so it doesn't surprise me. Much like we've seen in the last couple rounds, David Thunder ahead of it. Tex is already here. And they're still getting the kills. Demon Lord falls. Crashes is going to join them. It seems like they can do no wrong right now. And through the slight delay, now the rest of reinforcements have arrived. Aspas has arrived at the scene. It's all on Marv and Vic now. One enemy remaining. And Marv is left standing by himself. A 1v2, 70 HP, no armor. Spike well out of reach. So much luck to do. And the final boss of King on the other side with Mzino looking over his shoulder. 30 seconds left. Such a Cover difficult situation. Down. Really playing mind games as best as he can, but Damn. they're not fooled. That's true. Yeah, Eight King. one for left. King's not falling for that at all. And it just seems Who's like clearing these right sites? Cypher cam. They're just doing everything. Dude, chat is so toxic. Even the trips that Com put right there. You know what's interesting? It's like they're always more the, the small amount of negativity will oftentimes outshine the majority of positivity. Like even if five percent of watchers are hate watchers, it'll seem a lot more than that because most of the people who are enjoying it have nothing to say because they're too busy enjoying the the stream, you know. So it's like even if ninety-five percent of the people are having fun and like the stream. Even if 5% are just haters who are typing like toxic shits, it'll seem like much more because, um... Things and stuff, you know? Yeah, I mean... It was all on purpose. Aspas got hit by the knife on purpose and King dodged it. To try to punish if anyone's there, but now Tex... Pretty wise to just back off there. No need to do any heroics. Especially with the way that they've been winning these rounds. I think it shows a lot of discipline too, because when you're up 8-1, when it feels like everything is going right, you want to swim that. You want to take the fight. Double flash right here. On the other side of the smoke, they both oh, oh. through. They're so done. Mazzino gets Damn. The recon phantom is too good. Can he do what King could not? This is up. Ethan Tuck's tail runs away. And again, the spike well out of reach. Oh! He's gonna get him, isn't he? No. I've jinxed him. Totally wanted and now that. Com drops dude. Ethan, Marv left alone. We've seen this before. <laughs> 30 seconds left. I mean, if Marv wins this, so just cement him as even more of a goat in the game of Valorant. But I think it's nearly impossible. Yeah. There's just so much life for him to do. Yeah. What a stomp. What a subversion of expectations, too. Yeah. What we do? Get back to I have to Energy up. getting rolled by the most basic tactics ever. Like, what is going on, bro? Chatters are so unaware. It's so funny to me. They're completely clueless. But King has been actually checking the entire other side of the map while this is all happening to try to catch out Victor or Marv on these lurks. He's Dude, does he like opening and closing his eyes is actually so cute. Little Pokemon. And something small like that goes a long way. It gives you way more Lever just getting lucky. The amount of copium is insane. Again, Osbos deliberately. 310 Demon One is a wild. Dude, one will people understand that KDA like will never be the same every game. This isn't like fucking uh I don't know, this isn't like soccer or tennis or league or like Tekken where it's like normal to have the same results every game. You will see the best player in the world like fall off sometimes. I don't know what to say. Also, I'm really ha uh, hot chat, so I have this fan. I'm just like holding it to my face. So just <laughs> bear with me, you're bear with me. What happened to Made for Champions team? Oh yeah, I just hate Chatter's ass pass so bad. Now they know the rest of the members are trying to funnel the way out onto B, but maybe they're already here. It's the same story. Oh my god! Damn! 
What the fuck is Demon One doing? LOL. Really All right, maybe we should hide chat. They're being a little bit too toxic. I don't want to overshadow. Like, again, small amount of negativity can make things seem way worse than they seem when it's like actually not that bad. So, yeah, don't worry, chat. Don't worry. Right now, Lev is watching all these entries. They're not allowing any weird lurks to come through. You on the other side? Seven rounds in a row. This has been an outrageous performance. Wait, it's ten to one. <laughs> it's a hell of a way to start a half. Dude, holy shit. Talk about the one-sided games today. The EG vs. Crew was also like kind of one-sided. Last round of the half. Guns. For the attack side, they have Ethan's ult. Zeno's got his ult back online. Look at him on the minimap, how he rotates after he used that stun. Already going to top mid. He's here for the instant aggression if anyone goes through mid. And as soon as that smoke goes up on the right you side of mid, they know they're going to try to press the other side. Mazino's there to greet three. Oh my god, he's alive. He doesn't take a lick of damage. He's still alive. He's surrounded now. Ethan hunts him down. Crashies finds another. Finally, a little bit of room to breathe, but are they going to get choked out once more? King finding one, a 2v2 for the rest of the round. Both faced. Mm. 1v2, can he deliver? No. Okay, well played, well played by energy. 10 2 half. Damn. Not the best, could be better. Could be better, could be better. All good though. B lobby area. Finally getting caught off guard by a flash from Ethan. Not a single player of NRG on the side of NRG is positive. Not one. Really? No one? Roster and the way it was constructed, there's no way you would expect that. I mean, I would. It's Valorant. <laughs> yeah, that's that's flow state right there. We're going to throw it down to the desk and see what they thought of that 10 2 half in favor of Gleb. See, chat, if this is EMEA, I just want to say, if this is EMEA or APAC, you'll notice I talked about this last Watch Party 2. It's like, there's no downtime in between halves, right? It's like a ranked game. You have 40 seconds, and then bam, next half starts. But in Americas, the only region where they do this thing where they have like a 10-minute interview or some shit in between... Three kills, guys. They lost have ten too. And whatnot was fantastic, but also this guy. Everyone has like five kills on the team. The server, so I think the highest yeah, kill is like six so, or seven. So good, and the speed at which they were so ready <laughs> to execute those six or seven the trap plays is what made it so much more effective. And then holding down the sites, making sure that their sentinel was not gonna be able to get. Energy, the only America's team to not drop a single map. But so what does this mean? I mean, they've only played against like one or two opponents, though, right? Like, does this mean Lev are insane? Like, I don't know, is like Lev fucking like insane, insane? Or yeah, it's so hard. It's so hard to know. Consistent. It's always a bit of both, right? And Lev, a game, NRG. It kind of felt like they had control of the whole game. But at the top, yeah, you shouldn't have a C game, though, right? Like, you should never go to your C game. We should never go to no two seasons on Pywatch. Yeah, is it like four of them on Pywatch right now? Yeah. The chat is so fucked. I was like, why didn't Lev get that orb? And these guys said, there's five walking orbs, don't worry about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. There's five orbs. There's five walking orbs. <laughs> That's actually a good one. My super team will come through. Watch this. Win pistol, win bonus. Dude, that's how I'm trying to be. I want to take a nap real quick. It's not even an Aspas show. That's the crazy part. It's a king show. Right? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean Aspas is bad either. It just means someone else has turned to the fuck up right now. I mean, it's not over yet, though. Like, maybe this map is not the series. Going into halftime of the first map, but alas, here we are. Where they I next, I'm actually like worried. Like, top to bottom, but like, I don't know what energy. As it goes with the new half comes an opportunity to approach the map. So it seems like the default strap for Gecko is like at the start of every round, you just always use your dizzy right away. Like it, you know, what it's reminding me of. It's reminding me of Silva Dart. Like three free darts around. I can see that shit being nerfed. Like, I think Dizzy, like, guys, Gecko is just broken as fuck. This shit's gonna get nerfed eventually. It may take a year, year and a half, like it did with Chamber. 
Because Chamber came out like January of 2022 or some shit, right? But then he didn't get nerfed until after Champs. So this could be a similar kind of year where we don't see Gecko get nerfed until after Champs. And they just allow like Year of Gecko type shit. Wait, they're gonna leave an insert. Oh my god, King. King is now they're gonna re hit B. They're gonna re hit B for sure. They will. They will for sure. King is already here. King's their color. They're gonna go back. They're gonna go back. Yeah, this is it. This is B. Yeah. Wait, how does he know? It's so good. Wait, how do they know? How, how does Finesse know? Wait, what? How He like knows when the timeouts are, he knows the rotations. This should be classified as abuse. This is a pleasure to watch. A 5v3. Absolute cinema. Well played, you little fuckers. Well played. I don't want to jinx it now. I mean, they're all stacked in main, too. Every single one of them waiting for energy to face. Damn. With no real utility, Mazzino no, should be has, a one. King has his flash. Oh my gosh, this is so unlikely to be one for NRG. There's the first, there's the second. Oh my the god. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh my god. What? You're kidding me. Bro. In the pistol for Leviathan. The fuck? It looked like it was going to be a disaster. Lose the round, then win the round, then lose the round in the same round. I got nothing to say. Literally, literally. Well, they got go. four there, and then one v three. What a joke! Oh my god. That's awesome. Oh my god. It's so calm with it too. Yeah. That's so fun. A force from NRG with really no real option. You have to buy. Jesus oh Christ. God. He's on high. To make something happen. Oh my god. To force some sort of an advantage that's otherwise evaded and eluded. Wait, who's on fire? Huge. Oh, wait, never mind. Is it a force? A one for one certainly helps. Yeah, and, and wait, he's gonna, gonna get one. He's gonna get one. <laughs> Why is Pi Watch a thing? What? So it's so silly. Uh, Maybe we don't whip out the raise right away. We start on jets to warm up and then play raise. Oh. Why is guy peeking me like this? I'm re peeking him. I don't care. Kill ultimately in favor of Mark. Trips down. That's big. Oh, they hear this rotation too. You did good. The thing is, there's still a lot. There's, well, most of the weaponry is still up. They sell the guardian. They sell the bulldog. Both of those finding value. Stunning him. Oh, it's so funky sometimes. That's so tough, man. Breach. You got a little drift. They hear it. They hear it. Oh, where is everybody? Demon one with the sheriff. Demon one who's Wait, you're actually right, that's fine. Oh my god, oh no, my god. No, Demon 1-Pi? He does it! Oh, he didn't get it! He won the round! Whoa! Don't call it a comeback! Don't call it a comeback. No! The, the Pi watch. What is his KDA now? Does he have four kills? Everybody's hands warmed up. No Pi, no Pi. He found such a great timing that in that moment, satcheling over the trip. Oh. Wait, he was one death away from Pi. <laughs> Pi watch. He was 3 1 3. <laughs> what is Pi watch, bro? This shit is like so dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, there. Wait, there's life! They believe? A hero rifle in the hands of Boss Full armor. I need to stop watching Terra Extreme. Fuck. It's so bad. His chat is so much. Because the chat is so much better in the streamers chat as opposed to like the official broadcast. It's like everything about the watch parties is like better than the official Energy thing. Usually very, very good on the anti-ecos. Especially after kickoff. You imagine as soon as that trip goes down, they creep forward. That's exactly what Aspas says and they're trying to be so methodical about finding their fights. That's a big one on the mark. Okay. Not really in a position to try to scoop up that weapon, so it's still just one rifle, and it's in the hands of King, who's been just as good, who's been better than Aspas up until this point. Ethan feeling some nice. pressure, able to keep it at bay, at least for now. They're so worried about me. Before Hello, they're close. Crash, he's on the swing. The flash in his face doesn't matter. Aspas is left alone, trying to find a weapon. 
He will not be able to. NRG gets a four. Nice. Not the cleanest of anti ecos, just because of how that round started with Mark getting picked off. I mean, that's your smokes against an eco, but Demon 1 and Victor actually re aggro and B main there to make the, the numbers even. And then that just ultimately ends up allowing Ethan wow. to take out everybody that's funneling back to the A site. For right here. And the second kill was actually really clean. Compass. Mo, why is the sound so delayed? That's not just me, right? Fifteen to twelve, leading from the front. Big change of pace from Love. This is a fast. I refuse to believe it's just me. Ethan's hearing some of this noise. He has his ult. The problem with playing a spot like this is if they actually commit on A, you already know that breach sees is going to come out. Yeah. And hit that little default bomb plant area. They opt to go back, just depositing up. Aspas, and he's just holding for any re-aggression. Question is, how far does the re-aggression go? Aspas will be tagged. Hmm. You wonder here too, what yeah, that could be anywhere. Because you see Aspas, you think, well, the rest of the team's got to be close, right? He's not normally one to be lurking around. That's Ooh, do you want sneaking by? A trip him a day. Oh shit! Ah, uh, that timing is actually unlucky. Said that a few times now. Aspas has joined the fray. They've all rotated towards B. The rolling thunder will pave the way, but Mark TP ahead of it. He gets spammed anyway. Damn. Wait, these execs by Lev are actually not bad. They're like covering every base. And once again, energy at a numbers deficit. They invest everything they possibly can. Ethan Toll dropped. Victor swings his way into his death. And it's all on the crash. He's in the face of five. Cannot. Yeah, I should scoop. Cannot deliver. Leviathan on map point. Damn, that was fast. Like, that was pretty fucking fast, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Understanding that energy have been getting aggressive in that general area, especially the even one. Dude, it feels like the map just started. It's crazy because I know you guys. I don't know if you guys saw the last series. Crew versus uh, EG was also like game one was very fast. It was pretty much the same score as this. It was it was over like at the blink of an eye. Like suddenly match points and then GG's. The footsteps that you hear, right? You try to break the cam and get out, but Lev was just too close for him. And another aggro play down mid. Speaking of close, Zeno's got utility set up and ready to go. If there's a Q, there's a problem. Buggy's oh, gonna sidestep his way through all of that. Paranoia looked a little low, but Dizzy connects. You've got King of the World hurt here, but again. And they're down here to fight. They stayed for so long, and you can't do that against a comp. Like, yeah. They have so much utility. Even if the breach goes down, you have the gecko flash. That's yeah. hard. It's hard to kill. Maybe you're playing a little too aggressive there for defense. They have so many tools at their disposal. And honestly, Leviathan are playing them to perfection. I feel like Lev seems like they'd be a scrim god kind of team. They just pop off and scrims everyone. You've got Vic who's gonna try to take some space around the flank, but he's got a clear trip, so now they know where he's headed. Khan's gonna try to take that fight. Decides to give it up. Crash is in double. Join the rest of his teammates. Crash instantly cleared, but Zora Crash sees an Ethan. The trades are so It's fucking Jover. <laughs> it's Jover, boys. When you're on attack. Wrap it up. <laughs> Wait. Maybe not. Freaky if Victor wants to keep this thing alive. 85 HP, no armor. The need to make a play. Ever great. Why would he shoot? It's a little high low. Well, I'm lucky. Alright, chat. I sleep. I wake up when next game starts because America is as slow as fuck, okay? They take forever between games. So I sleep. I mean, see you guys game two. Someone cypher in general, and he played a phenomenal map. Just the small of things, yeah, he's not at the top of the scoreboard, but the impact that he had of being an anchor, of getting all the information that was required in the round, was superb. You know what's crazy? Who weighs on top of the scoreboard? On a roster that has Aspas, that has King, you've got Mazzino, <laughs> who's top fragging as Breach. As Breach. For Leviathan, is just asinine. Yeah, and his utility was really good too. He played it so well. You know, we said this a few times, how it felt like Leviathan were a step ahead. You know, they were reading a 
page ahead on the book. Uh. It, it felt like NRG were just reading an entirely different book. It felt like they were behind the entire time. King played a masterful game. He called their circles around NRG, and that's going to take us to mind. We'll see you guys on the other side of this break. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through Attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle. You're gonna be able to fight this. It's Liz with GoKed from the Viaton. An incredible first map, stealing NRG's map pick away from them. What made it so dominant on the side of the Viaton? Was it prep, was it in-server adaptation, or something else? I think two things. First, I think our prep was very good for, for how they play Sunset. And second, I think we're really 
uh, getting comfortable on stage and play like we do on Prague. Uh, the guys were playing amazing individually and as a team, so I think that's the uh, two reasons why we were so dominant. All right, well, onto your map pick, so best of luck. Well, from a 10 and 2 half time for Levitan, things didn't get much better for NRG. The pistol in the second half was wild. NRG salvaged like a, a 3v5 and then end up losing a 3 versus 1 at the end of the round. Utter chaos, and they cannot get it together, Mimi. The game ended in chaos, but I think it started with an incredibly controlled game plan by Leviathan. Last time we saw them playing this map, they were running the loud Phoenix comp, trying to copy that one. But running this composition with the KO Gecko, we saw so many great protocols. I think in particular, the way they were approaching A main, these trap plays were crushing NRG, Mirna. Yeah, they were amazing. They were actually flawless. Not only was there always one first layer of util, there was always that second layer to ensure that when they did end up pushing, the other team was always blind or was always stunned. Like, it was never just that initial set of util and that was all. Yeah, and I really like the way they were bouncing their cypher around the map, right? Calm, because of that kind of constant pressure towards me, Calm had a potential to be playing that more standard cypher set or sometimes actually playing behind that trap and being the next layer as they re-rotate and change oh, the looks, yeah. It was a great masterclass in defensive calling and energy just couldn't get their foot in the door. Yeah, I mean that kind of movement around the map made it that energy could not adapt at all. When you're playing against a trap composition, you want to walk up, you want to bait these traps, but not at a single point were NRG able to do that. It felt like they were always hitting some sort of wall, and it is exactly because of the rotations of that cypher around the map. Can you not like bait these out? Like we've seen sometimes like Razors might try and bait a trap play and satchel out. Of, I mean, like, they a tried. Or similar. They really were trying, but Lav was just so good at holding it down and knowing not to push any util and not force it off of zero sound. Like there was a play where they took B main and they needed and flashed and Lev still just sat on site. They did not poke, they did not prod at all. They need to push past that initial, bar initial barrier in order to get some sort of util out of them, but they didn't. They were so scared. It felt like they were just holding down. I think you can see the difference between really great teams that really understand the idea behind the composition they're playing and teams that are kind of trying to mimic ideas they've seen before. And I think the best way to show that is when they're actually activating these plays. I feel like for, for less experienced squads or, or squads who aren't really putting as much into it, they'll end up just going into one of these plays, activating off one piece of noise, one mm -hmm. piece of info, and getting really kind of uh, like jittery with it. Yeah. But for Leviathan, they did a really good job of actually kind of working off those cues and figuring out when it was a commitment. Yeah, they were so disciplined. And honestly, I apologize to Lev for what I said before, because I said I didn't think that they were going to be so solid But as it's a team. reasonable, because they looked so bad week yeah, one, and now they've fair. turned it around to be this team. Uh, they have, there's have some serious depth right. I think one thing on the other side of things we saw often see from Chet is that after he calls a timeout, they're able to convert into a round. There's a set play getting called. So I wonder what Chet's now able to do with this type. In between maps, there's a lot to work on for NRG. Let's see how what Chet has to say about that map one. I'm sure he's thrilled. Liz here with Chet from NRG. Your map pick really did not go your way. You took a tack after round three and then another one after round eight. And I know it might be too soon to tell because you haven't been able to review, but what happened? Um, I think we were just missing some crucial comms on like breaking the dizzy. And I think we tried to play to interrupt their retakes, but their util was really good for us when we were pushing. So. They just countered Util really well, and I think their plan was just to not let us play our game. They kind of played to interrupt us, like, con constantly. And I think that's good by them. I mean, we we were aware of it. We were just also just missing our kills, so that didn't help. We are just slow start, but I think we're still confident in our bind. Best of luck. So what is their game? If Leviton are trying to interrupt NRG, throw them off that game, what do they need to be looking to return to on bind? I think, honestly, exactly what he's saying, right? Bringing up those comps. If you're playing against a composition that has that dizzy, has this initiator tools, the best thing you can be doing as a team in the pre-round, talking about what util you're expecting to see in these moments, who's breaking what, who's going into that. I think some of that showed to be breaking down up against an opponent who is playing incredibly well. And with time to talk about that now, with the experience on this energy squad, I think you can have some faith to at least see some sort of bounce back here. Yeah, for sure. It's like smaller things, even 
all the way down to who's playing anti fudge so they can swing off of all the And those little things I feel like are really hard to actually talk about in exactly. the game, right? Yeah, 100%. Like when you're in game and everything is going crazy, you're in a mass situation. You have that mindset of we need to win. So you start doing things like hero plays that you normally wouldn't do. But that sort of di discipline is what energy I feel like are strong in coming back into. And for Bind, Bind necessarily isn't as strong as a chokehold map as Sunset. Like there is a lot more area to play with. There are teleporters. So you can make more plays, bait a lot more util out, and I feel like oh. obviously going into the agent select. I'm here, Chad. I'm here. I'm just tired. We talked a lot about this KO gecko composition, and it's the exact comp that is ran by NRG on this map, as we're seeing here. Those same combos come into play, and their opponent also has a similar idea. This kind of second initiator paired with that gecko is so prevalent. So those learnings that Chet was talking about, they're going to have to apply this to this game as well. On top of that, I want to see more of the individuals. Demon One was getting caught in those traps constantly. How do you feel about the raise for Demon One at the moment? I don't think that map came down to the raise as an agent. I think it was just playing against a really good opponent and struggling to have the right game plan to deal with it. Now surely this series has got to go to a map three, right? There's no other way this one can go. NRG have to feel like they've got a lot more to show and Leviathan would like to shut this down. Right Games Arena, are you ready for some map two action? Thank you so much Uber. Yeah, I, I, I hope you're right. I think I can speak for Dre when I say he hopes you're right because this feels like a series that should go three, but honestly, that first map was so against what anybody could have expected that I think we're just kind of like, well, who knows now? Yeah, that was crazy. But a clean slate on this new map. And, you know, I don't think we've seen energy play Bind in quite some time. And Ethan's playing the KO. So I think this could be really good for them. I think they could set up Demon 1 maybe a little bit better on this map than they did on, or than they tried to set him up on that sunset. And, you know, they do have to be aware of the disruption that Le Leviathan like to do, especially on their defensive side. That's going to be a key factor in this series. We'll see what they can do on attack. I think Mimi made a really good point when she said it didn't feel like it was the raises who were the difference maker there. But NRG yeah. are trying to make that be the case here as Demon One has a frenzy and light armor. Investing into him a little bit. You see the Viper Wall splitting the map and Demon One's already dead. That wasn't off of a setup either. That was Tex just spamming. Just got eliminated midair. And now here comes the infinite delay, but NRG already wrapping back sight, and that's why this wall is here. King is in a position to get a lot of value. If he plays his cards just right and finds the timing. Ooh. Ethan surrounded. And he's getting another. Wasn't far off. He's taking so much damage. 4 HP, Mazino trying to cut off the exits, and he does. Continuing right where he left off. Now there's so much left to do. Marv and Crash, he's the only ones remaining. Spike planted. Spike planted and Marv is going aggressive. Holy smokes, he's up so far. Trying to draw a line in the sand much further than you would expect. Now Molly's gonna delay for a while, buy some time. And that is the essence right now. Now they're done trying to trample forward as they push away up and spawn the flash out first. Oh fuck, we're in. We're in, we're in. Everyone focus up. Focus up guys, focus up, we're in, we're in, holy shit, I could actually like pass out right now, I don't know why, I want to be wide awake and I don't know why I'm not, because I was like an hour ago, but for some reason, maybe it's because I'm starting with a watch party, no, but I've started with a watch party before and I've been fine, so I don't know why. Understanding that that stun isn't a foolproof method of winning. All that I know is that I love just one pistol, see the replay. Dude, that's brutal. Damn, I mean, it is a common place. I'd say it is very common for in this dive meta or with duelist entries. It's like it's so common to entry onto elevation on ascent on A, you can dash up draft into gen, and on bind, you can do the same thing on B, right? Or on A. So, I guess it kind of makes sense. He did it mm. all last year, and mm. he's done it so far this year. Yeah. Still much to do left, though. Still plenty of game to play. For energy, no investment really other than Crash. He's getting a ghost. I really like how energy approach the eco rounds. They always get some type of value, whether that's grabbing an orb or getting bombed down or both in most cases. Marv's already lurking in this U-Haul area. Wow, what a cool flash lineup. 
Wait, but it didn't get him. So do they know? Dude, see, the, see what I mean? It's like so hard to track people. Kyrie's supposed to track that shit. You know what? I feel like people have gotten too good at movement in this game. Right? Abby needs to nerf spraying again, or they need to nerf movements. I feel like they don't want to nerf movements. But, like, everybody knows to run now. Everyone knows how to stray. It's so much harder to, like, just to kill people without having messy aim. Like, clean one taps are so much harder these days. Because everyone knows how to aim. Classics and one ghost. No demon one jet, Sag. Maybe we'll see a map three. Map three was like either Breeze or Icebox, I think. It was one of the big maps. The eco frags. Always satisfying to witness. You're right though, there is there is some weaponry behind this. Mizino has a phantom aspas with Guardian Hill. So there is a little bit of bite to this and calm feeling some of the pressure. Hearing all of that noise is gonna give the space up. Using two blinds for B long, huh? He commit the boom bot? Or at least we'll try to. He's what, halfway to his? Oh. Yeah. Just a pretty standard hold in general right now. Just a two-three setup. Nothing to reclear so far. Com will use dog though to get info. It might be possible to get up here with their boosting. Cause a rotate potentially. And they got some info there, but the knife. Oh my gosh, King is so smart. He literally dipped at the perfect time, dodged the knife, and he's already back in. This might catch Ethan off guard. I think the thing is, the knife is going to keep him here. Mm. Meanwhile, the rest of NRG is a. They have four over there and spikes there too. I feel like it's just enough, just a little bit. I mean, 4v3... It's definitely not bad. Silent tucking on that short box. Crashies uses the thrash, trying to clear out as much space as he can. Didn't fully clear out. Got a lot of space with it. 30 seconds left. I think they're just gonna try to delay plant as long as they can. Yeah. Buy time for the rotates to come in. And they're hot to trot, they're on the way. They didn't sh clear showers. No showers control makes it actually a lot harder. Nine members huddled into this one little site. Demon one falls. Thirteen seconds left. The spike not committed to yet because Demon one didn't even fire a single bullet. It's a third, the fourth attempt, and I don't know that there's going to be enough time to get it down. The nade is perfect. There is no time. Yeah. What a gorgeous display. That was beautiful. Hmm. That was tough. absolutely beautiful the way that they played back site, waited for the rotates to come in. Tough, tough, and tough. And Demon1 getting a little too antsy there, that flash did not connect on anybody, it was shot instantly out of the sky. So Levo's ready for that too though, they're ready for the back site fight, and using their bonus guns to their advantage. I feel like 9 times out of 10 when you're close range like that with a Spectre, you tend to win the gun duel even if it's against a Vandal. Oh, for sure. Just wasn't the case this time. Chat, will Faker ever get a girlfriend? Will he ever be in a relationship? Yeah, that's tough. Or is he waiting for his professional career to end first before dating a girl? I wonder if he's ever had a crush in his life. I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but I am. from your team? Especially a team like this, who, when they're so dialed in, it just seems like they can compete with the best of the world. But I think that was expectation for this team when it was built. Look at this exact. Wow. King is the line. Really good positioning. King's popping off. But finally, a little bit of room found. Demon 1 and Mark, the only two remaining. They both taken a fair amount of damage. Damn, the Deagle Demons? Aw, oh, Mizuno so... I don't know, man. Like, fucking um, Lev are just on one today. Specifically, their controller players. Mizuno and um, King are just fucking going crazy. They're both going crazy. Previous, even just checking the guy in showers, see the highlight of King getting this 3k that he got. Beautiful. Dude, he's on point right now, too. Everyone from left just seems to be so ready for this moment. Like they've been waiting for it, like they couldn't wait to get in the server. 
But yeah, the, the round even previously, Mazzino, when he checked showers, just that little micro decision. He has his ult online now. The default Reaver variant, unupgraded. Text close by. He's still playing showers, as you were mentioning. King has played a different angle in this hookah area. Like every time. Yeah. yeah. Dog clearing out long. Orb should be his for the taking. But not fully convinced. He uses another flash on long, and that's the cue for him to leave. Yep. He can just lean for free right now. This is the tough thing about running no sentinel on this map or having no one defaulted on the other side of the map. They're so ready for this hit. Yeah, they might be forced to go A here. Because King has all this space. Maybe they know. It's like really hard to just rotate back. This is not good looking at the map for energy. Here's the thing though, as you mentioned, if they try to rotate out and they try to go through market, there's going to be a lot of presence there. Demon 1, bolt not landing, but the bullets do. Numbers in favor of the attack, still looking for their first round, but holy smokes, they might have snatched this thing back. Oh my god. Tax and Osmos can do no wrong. And the wraparound from King as well. Full proof. Seemingly delay, delaying the inevitable crashes with 7 HP cannot convert onto anything. Chow, what is going on today? Seems like this week and like, I don't know, recent games, everyone's just getting upset in every region. But especially here, for some reason this doesn't surprise me. But I feel like Lev are coming off of a lot of momentum as well, being that they just beat Sentinels. So it's surprising, but maybe it's not that surprising. But they need to secure rounds like this where energy has the stingers and pull off a crazy strat. Demon one satcheling forward, still trying to take a fight and once again plucked out of the sky. I punished again. It's been kept on a short leash all series. Yeah, that got go all. He's gonna force the TPs. He's going through with it! And he still gets his one. I don't... I'm imagining he saw crashes, but... He may have not. I don't think he saw him in the actual TP. But it doesn't matter, their proactivity from Lev. They're such a good cohesive unit right Damn. now, Doug. Holy smokes. I mean, Seems like a lev warmed up too. That you can tell their aims are all crisp. They're hitting one taps. They're fast. They want it. Energy don't want it. The aim looking kind of sus. Like I don't know. Allows him to take all that space down B long and get the one up. Like maybe lev aren't a better team. They're just more prepared and they want it more. That's the thing with the the game, right? That's why I talk a lot about this. You could be better at the game, but I, I think Valorant is less a game about being better. And more game about just wanting it more when you compete or play, wanting it more and being a little bit prepared and more going in rather than being good. Just the time to die is just so long. Time out being used not too early on this time around. But man, it might just be one of those. Surprise chat isn't like fucking completely distraught. And that's the unfortunate reality of the game that we play at Valorant. Sometimes Demon one looks tired as well for some reason. It looks like he wants to go home. Dude, you can have such good practice days, but if you're not on one when it's game day, like all that work can just be for nothing. Demon one looks like he had a bad day or he's just fucking exhausted. Maybe he was like sleeping with his girlfriend or something. I don't know. Right before, fucking drained himself. Been there, I've been there, I'm not gonna laugh. The good thing about the team against this comp specifically is you don't have to, you're not playing against the Cypher, so you won't just run in and hit trips when you're hitting B. I didn't sleep for this. What's going on in the crowd? Are they arguing? But it feels like a lot of the same story. I'm not really sure. I think everyone's heated. I think everyone's getting emotional. Every single time. And it's something that we don't really see Demon 1. Okay, yeah. Vic Satchel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. I don't think so. Listen, I double Satchel. I don't think it's showers either. 
to be a little bit <laughs> no, slower but like the pace. So. The, the race he's players do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, need, you need to get in charge. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Bro, when that is better roll. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He does look kind of tired. Wait. Wait, Jimmy is Jimmy back. Jimmy is waking up. Yeah. What did they even do? Walk I mean, yeah, no joke. I tell my team, listen, bro. I know you want me to double satchel showers, but I promise you, if I run there, it'll be faster. If Demon One gets some space, they can flip the map. Oh, or they no. can stay. Yeah, it's KO, but that could have been real bad. Yeah. It's certainly not going to help their cause. As soon as there's attack, you see the spam go through. Wait, oh, what? Nice. Wait. Wait. Oh, he got away with it. Is gonna be late to the rotate king in a perfect position. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, Lever just looking like the best team in the world. Like, I don't know, man. Mazzino played this round. Played that perfect. This yeah, is yeah not perfectly. 30 seconds left. Dude, that was 5v3 again. Dude, I think he just popped Nade like he they thought he was Jet. They said, no, have it back. <laughs> it's the same narrative as last map. They cannot do no 5v3 into a 3v0. Mazzino, they're just spamming and living for long enough for King to just get a backstab there. Dude, it is fucking oh Jover, boys. Alright, I said it. It's Jover. Just pack it up, man. I don't know. I just work here. Victor kills Mazzino in that situation. I mean, he must have shot at least 10 bullets. Why a diamond to one? That's not even, that doesn't even sound like, that's not even a good roast name. It didn't do anything, it didn't even connect. Oh. Mazzino, yeah. I mean, Mazzino's just Bruh. unbelievable right now. Not even that, it's just energy or kind of trolling. Bro, I'm at night because energy is cooked. Yeah, this is not looking good for energy. I'm not gonna lie. This is, um, yeah. I think, I don't know, maybe just a bad day, but Lev are looking really good. I th feel like as the season goes on, they're looking better and better Lev. It feels like they, just, new team, everyone playing with them, each other for the first time. Lev are, might actually be like this year's EG, 2023 EG. They're looking pretty good. To remind you, on Sunset, it was a 10-2 half. They had won seven rounds in a row in the first half. Uh, Leviathan did. They're at eight so far. I mean, they're trying to speed run today, apparently. <laughs> like, they must have some dinner reservations or something tonight. This is just wild. I think have said this, but if energy don't make it to playoffs, their roster is fucked. Yeah. To be fair, there's not much you can really do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like super teams rarely make it. It's almost always too good to be true. And it's less about how good the players are individually and more how they good they are together. Like, EG was something special, 2023 EG. It's not something you can just replicate. They're Deco just good players out, alone. Then Calm uses flash for the for the people that are behind it. Maybe they need a Boostio. Maybe Boostio is like the missing piece. They need someone like him. Gotcha. Crash is gonna fall. Marge and Victor left alone. Desperately looking for any sort of a a spark, a catalyst. Every timing. A spark Every shot. catalyst. Victor with nothing to do. Four players looking at him. Leviathan have played this this entire series. Lev, it's a, I think it's a combination of energy not looking great, but also like I will give credit to Lev. They are playing very well. I'm not just gonna like make some bullshit excuse for energy. Lev are playing really well. They're playing the game well. You could tell they're all on the same page, playing off each other very well. Good teamwork by Lev. But here we are, where they only want and you could tell they are all trying their hardest, and they want it really badly. I don't know if I can say the same for energy. Again, guess who's top fragging for Leyatan? Leyatan. 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 Is the V silent? Maybe. Like really coming to its own, right? We knew Aspas was going to be good. See what Tarek is delivered. Tarek is saying. King is delivered, right? He's been exceptional so far for Levitan. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's delivered. No, I didn't. He's back to normal. He's back to normal. Yeah, hello? 
You're good, bro. Don't worry. Or, excuse me, right. You've always sounded like this. Fine. To I'm on a new mic. I'm on a new mic. What is this? Maybe we can talk. What are you doing? The Hyper X2. In America, is a team that hadn't lost a single game up until this point. Wait, wait, wait. Have you been watching this game or no? Of course I have. It doesn't matter. What's your thought process? I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand anything. Tarek and Sam said I need to figure it out. What do you mean? You died for this. You can't figure anything out. I, okay, well that's. You would not be <laughs> down 9-0 no to live right now. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> the glazed man. Yeah. The glazed man. Is here. <laughs> what I've been saying. The glazed man is here. <laughs> and can you I get around so What can I say? I what can I say? He showed even more layers than usual. Yeah, Jordan, you saw what Potter said, right? What do you think? 11 and I'm three. Sure. Nah. What? Thought I could it's it's it. They're is. just doing oh. this in in such a masterful way. Yeah. It's very, very impressive, and this is not easy to do. And it's also not with Asmus dropping 40. Nope. Right? I think that I think would have been the expectation. Oh my for god, oh my god. They're doing it by committee. Look at that. They're so confident they want to disrupt. They want NRG to You guys know how NRG has a speed running YouTube? Early. You guys think sure. so they're actually going Oh this side, my they god. Have. That is gonna about to yeah, bite them the hard. Oh <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Chat, I feel like sometimes you crush a team so hard that you go into the next game like thinking that you don't need to try and maybe that's what happened with NRG when they played against Furia. Now they're playing against an actual good team and they're just fucked. Fuck Sentinels. Fuck Sentinels. Fuck, Sentinels. Fuck NRG. I don't know what crew thinks they're, they're doing going through. <laughs> Dude, holy shit, sells his ego. This guy wins like one tournament and he fucking thinks you just say whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> It's pretty funny. I don't hate the guy, it's just funny. You detained him! Oh my god, Texas. Right, he's protected, bro. VIP. Chill it. Slight delay. One guy, U Haul, is actually looking really good. His orb is really big. If energy don't win this, it's actually over. Oh my god. They need this shit. Oh! Uh, Bro. What is that? It's over. It's fucking over. That was the one hope. Wait, wait, he spammed him on top of the box, too? That fast? That was insane. That was actually insane. You know, I think beating Viper Ult is all about good padding. It's like, if you're good at padding, then you can actually counter Viper Ult very well and catch the Viper off guard. So like basically as soon as the Viper ult goes down, you can't slow down at all. The way you counter is like as soon as you're Viper ult, you immediately start clearing and working it. But in a in a workaround kind of way, right? You don't go straight in, you work around the edge and try to like catch them off guard. That's how you counter Viper ult. I do that shit all the time. Oh my god. It works really well. We lost the with died to his ult. That round was over. Wait, they're in you all. It is Grimmel. Stop it. Them. And they've done it at their pace. They've done it their way. The disruption has been way oh too much for them God. to handle. Wait, if what? They ult, if they Grimmel here, they fight in twos. Marv was just overwhelmed there. Wait, what is going on? I don't know. I don't know. I, is, Util is like, perfect. He's like energy has no chance. They're hesitating. They're hesitating. That's why. Those, the, those guys, as soon as the KO Knight hits more. Riga's shower, those this guys should have ran up short end. The series is just proactivity, clearing out. Everywhere that energy deposits, dude, the little fucking, fucking man, yeah, the, it's the little All man, the it's perfect. perfect. Even the dog to spot the shower walk out right there. Aspas so is Jesus, bro. <laughs> it's over. It's over. What is Terra holding? Is that like a lighter, a flip phone, or a vape, or what? If they went two rounds, getting three kills to his smokes. Oh my god, he got his. He got his. What do you do in a situation? Okay, like all this? I need to know is anybody on Pi Watch right now? I don't, I don't you know. Do? Dude, the, anything that I you can do to not be 13 0 you to be the first team. Let's three take a better format. Three, three, so. three men are on Pi Watch. Three men are on Pi Watch. Three players Pi Watch? The issue is that if they get 13 0, there is no Pi. Jordan, what is wrong with this? I don't know. I don't know, dude. I just love this shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, you love it. Yeah, yeah. Why is it yeah. every bro to have smiling ear to ear? It's better to have three pies than a 13 0. For sure. Dude, dude, the thing is, Lev also has good movements. I'm starting to realize these players individually. 
Actually, not bad. Yeah, let's send it. Let's send it in there. Demon one looking to Wait, who's my no, no one's here. Oh my god. That, I think that increased that guy's health. <laughs> I think he just got healed from that Razor. The thing is, we have a lot of Wait, all all on all the other side. Oh! Oh, he got Three of them! Victor falls! But oh. fortunately, that's Wait, big, Ethan, big. As Wait, this is wrong. Punching back. But the punches have nothing behind them. Walk and mark and Ethan. You are powerless. They pop the ults. The spike has been ticking away for a little while now. Huge, oh. Ethan. Huge! Get away! Get away. Get away. Aggressive with this to the Stinger and a Spectre. Ethan with three on the round. He's so okay, they got this one. No time. Wait, no. Wait. Are they have time. No time. No time. No, no time. Oh my. Holy fuck! We got around. We got around, boys. Oh my god, we got around. Hallelujah. We're back. We're back. That's the first time NRG fans have had a chance to we might get 13 1, but not 13 0. This entire half. And the players, too. I mean, 13 1. I don't know. 13 0. It's fine. Fuck it. That's, that's, yeah. Yep. Well, so that's how Wait, they went around. Wait, to the surprise what? of everyone. What, what was your thoughts I'm when Chet used both because uh, Tech Pods? NRG was I knew. I knew. You yeah, I'm not even gonna like, no, tap. Yes. Yes. Marv <laughs> looks tired. He looks like he just woke up. What were your thoughts? I figured he would. It was, it's fine. Oh, okay. 11 to 1 is the most oh, okay. dominant because they were on what was it? Dude, not the fucking breakdown. I Dude, why can't they just start the next half, chat? Ain't nobody got time for this. I like that you were just listening intently, but nothing came through your ears. You're hearing him, but you weren't listening. Someone's name in chat is Mysterio. I wish at the end that you literally asked very Kaplan, you actually think I played that? No, I like how John, I like how John admitted his mistakes, and then he was like, yeah, yeah, like that, all of that. easy to plant the spike, and importantly, that was the last flash Ethan had in the round. There's not many great options to fight in the back site now, apart from Crashy's Dizzy. So, as we get in here, you will see the first problem to arise for NRG. This Viper Orb right here is stalling out the plant. So, NRG say we're gonna weigh out that Viper Dude, this shit is like so delayed. They have no presence in Shide Showers whatsoever. And as they wait out that orb, they wait it out, they look for this peak that comes in, but Victor can't find the kill. They're now realizing panic mode has come in. Players could be flanking, so now they're turned around looking at that. Brimstone is in Narnia, and they still don't have Brimstone's in Narnia. Plant. So they say, let's flash into backside, let's create some pressure with the Dizzy. But the problem is, that Dizzy gets instantly broken because there's no flash to combo with, and Demon 1 falls because Tex isn't flashed. Then the Brimstone smoke from the Dude, I have no idea what's going on right now. What is this guy waffling about? And because they don't have control over showers, the entire plant falls apart. It is a disastrous first half for NRG, and they must win this pistol. Back to you, Doug. Yeah. Okay, wait, they actually kind of cooked. W analysis. As we've mentioned, as we've talked about a couple times, they've they played a perfect series up until this point, or as close to perfect as you can possibly get. The fact that they've lost five rounds this entire time has been outrageous. Yeah, and when you win in a blowout of this fashion, you're not actually showing everything that you have. So we actually haven't seen the full playbook of what Lev has in store for other yeah. teams. Winning like this is so good, good mm -hmm. for your team. Oh, it hit him in the oh. face. That's on purpose, but it still doesn't fully dodge it. Well, you can purposely get hit by that shit. Fire ups as everybody, almost everyone on the map is grouping up towards a short demon one, the tip of the spear. Dude, if you were jet, I wouldn't mind this angle. That is a fucking aggressive angle, bro. Fly across. We think we see two for two. Three v three text, much worse for wear. Us West is taking a little bit of damage as well. And they cut noise. Now reconsidering this, Mark still playing on the other side of the map, understanding if they flip through Telly, he'd be in trouble. Yeah. He's gonna start flanking right now, which is Dinkedom. a good call. It's gonna be a double flank from Crashies and Marv. And Ethan's job right here is just to delay as much as possible and make sure it's not obvious that a flank is coming in. He needs to show more pressure safely, right? Because if he doesn't, his sight lines will be adjusted behind, but that doesn't happen. 
King with Molly in his lap. Has to take a step back. Tex with 22 HP, and you see him. They've been corralled into U Haul. They're going to have to fight their way out of this. Oh, W pistol. He's going to stick the fuse. King is nothing he can do about it. NRG get their second. Alright, we're fucking back, boys. Wait, we're actually so back. Not rotating off of any timing, just waiting. And then the reflank from Marv and Crashies. Ethan playing in that CT spawn so perfectly, it just worked out. Superbly. And this is the energy that we like and that we have come to love because they play the fundamentally correct style. But I don't know if it's enough to make a comeback. Well, it'll be 11-3 at least. I mean, it's baby steps, right? They constantly have to win, like, they have to win a lot of gun rounds. They only got two rounds from mistake. It's possible. When you're up 11-2, you just get a different type of confidence. I mean, this team has clearly already been confident going into this series, but you start taking a lot more risks and doing things that are just not the meta and NRG need to be ready to punish moments like that if they come oh, look at the respect that they're showing them they're so far back the only person who's really up is Dean one I feel like two things one Ethan doesn't play KO two Demon one doesn't play approaching this round. Uh, that they brought into it a heavy lean towards B and that's where the majority of energy is. This will be a double flash play off a of contact from Crashy. So once Crashy gets contact here, Ethan will do a pop flash and then Crashy will throw his flash after. Here it comes. There are the flashes that you mentioned. I turned this dog. Nowhere to go. The gun difference on full display here for NRG. One enemy remaining. Tex, no shot. He can do anything there. Marv gets four on the round. NRG gets a three. Super nice setup. Yeah. But finally, we get to see the flash combo working out for NRG. I feel like a lot of the rounds that we've seen him try to combo up that Gecko flash with the Alright, first flash. gun round. The Gecko flash hasn't been getting much value. Yeah. Bye round, you will see. You're right. <laughs> I'll put it out. Let's see what love can do. NRG can do. A lot of info gained for Lev on how energy likes to play a passive hold on that B site. So if they decide to hit again, expect a Gecko Molly to land on top of that default box. Pushing Ethan out if he decides to play there again or anybody else that plays there. Yeah, forcing him to swing into the crosshairs. Yeah. Smoke's down. Those are the type of things that you need to read into even on the anti-ecos or, or your eco rounds. You've seen Vic try to do this twice now where he tries to push the Viper Orb off of its placement it hasn't really netted much of anything dude what if you could pick up viper orb like you could pick up enemy viper orb and just fucking chuck it back or some shit throw it off the map that would be kind of funny damn all right yeah actually They're again going into the stack. Four members of NRG are here. The dogs can clear U-Haul, and they can go off of that. There's so much that's covered by these smokes. And instead of just going for a safe plant, they're gonna push back into spawn. They're gonna fight back sight with the flash over the top. Let me, uh, let me tank them both. Maybe a ton. And now they can flip. Keep the guy in pocket and have a crossfire on his sight. And this is gonna be a double swing potentially. Tex. No one watching back sight. Oh, Aspas is ahead of it. Mark trampling forward. Can't really do anything. How does Ethan win a 1v3 like this? He can't. Great reaction. It's Joe over chat. Take over the CT spawn, the defender spawn. <laughs> Yeah. Marv just not ready for that. It's tough because he has to clear so many angles while that bomb is ticking right down. Right between the you know, you and I have talked so many times about how it feels like impossible to hold backside on A. 
and that's just when people are playing things standard. Yeah. When you have them clearing through U-Haul, a flash over the top of truck, and then a fight backside, it's just... Hey, yo. Incredible. And I don't know who was in heaven there, but I think it may, may have been Crashy. Wow. Just ended up whiffing when Victor needed the help. They got demolished, and I don't know bro. who was in heaven there, but I think it may, may have been Crashy's. Just ended up whiffing when Victor wow. needed the help the most. What's up, brother? Twelve three tech pause. You hate to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, did you hear what's up, brother? Cool. I didn't see it. Did you do it? Pop tech. Oh, uh, was there a spill? There was a spill, wasn't there? <laughs> a little too hype. From the side of love, I think. I think it was calm. What's up, brother? <laughs> Look at that keyboard. I mean, he's crazy for playing with that. Drink so close to his right hand. I'm uh, flicking yeah, that no every shot. day of the week. Yep. <laughs> Drinks always Back on your left. Come on, man. Momentary one. Always. Dude, I have my drink on my right right now. Maybe I should move it to my left. Exclamation point vanish. Let's go. I got timed out for zero seconds. I never thought I'd see a world with this formality. Oh, nice guys. Kills are looking for him. The potential for more. He wants to run it down so bad. He wants to run it down so bad. Energy or Demon 1? Yeah, he does. They got Demon 1 leashed up, bro, like a dog, dude. True. He wants to run at them. Okay. 5v3. The pinned message. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Dude, why is everyone in chat just doing van? Vanish. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Hold on. Life. Hold on. There is, is life. A flawless round for energy as they get their fourth. Uh, Where are you going? Going? It's not over yet. <laughs> nah, everyone's vanishing, low, bro. Side have gotten the best of love. Even the yeah, previous round that they four? lost. No. They were up. Four v Eight rounds and two mm -hmm. maps is fucking insane. Eight rounds and two maps. <laughs> Dude, nobody knows how to spell vanish. What is this vanish? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? I think again, it's up down, four, up down. They are pushing into the majority of that. Dude. <laughs> Three here, two of chat is now. so. Chat can be my favorite part of Twitch because it's just so dumb. That's in the volley. Stays alive though. Tom? Demon 1. Is he up? Trying to creep forward. Oh, not quite. On the other side, and Demon 1 knows. You're oh, kidding me. That's not how that was play. supposed to go. Stinger too strong, Doug. That's uh, not up top. Strong. Not able to find anything with the ult. It's all into Marvin Vic now. It's over. Trying to keep this series alive. GG. I don't think it's going to happen. Wow. G! Marved in a 1v5. Plus? No, 1v5. Like a dog. Complete Never mind. GG's. That's it? He's killing for the last five rounds and that's it? Wow. Actually, wow. It's wow. fucking Jover, boys. Double 13 4, left wing. That's the one we won this guy. It is the end. It's the end of the world. Wow. 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 I'm telling you guys, Lev might be 2023. 2024's version of 2023 G. They just had to figure out how to talk with each other. That's literally it. How to talk with, how to play with each other. This is just crazy. I thought energy is just gonna be insane this season. Me too, I thought I the said the same thing. Like this, well, that was their first loss, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, their first good. loss? They're Maybe it's like Sen, they got kind of complacent. I mean, they didn't look that good in kickoff, right? Yeah. So, but like, at the start of the actual split one, they looked good. Uh, yeah, it's only one match, right? <laughs> it's only one match, guys, don't worry. I agree, I agree, it's a bad loss. 
Everything went well for them too. You didn't expect them to have like this low of a level. Got a shout out Texan Com to support. The issue is they haven't roster. beaten they really stepped it up any of the big like three, like the top three teams was, yet. You know, Mazino King and Ospos did really well. When they played them. And the support just not quite there for Texan Com. Haven't been Sentinels, haven't been Leviathan. Stepping it up and being there for their Bro, team. Wait, just, yeah. Wait, the next three oh, matches they play are actually wow, free. Oh, was that a jet lag win? Over this yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, that's true. For NRG, the, the tough thing is when you lose what does this, mean for C9, this bad, you don't even C9, know. C9, I don't like know what the fuck's going on over there. Insane this without Jordan. Bad, you I don't know. actually get <laughs> feedback from a match like this because you just got blown out. Yeah, where do you start? It's, it's tough. It's tough. Maybe on another day, this could have gone differently. They did the same things. Maybe their aim was a little better. Maybe not when they're wearing pajamas. Right, well, I gotta go look at the stats. I don't want to, but I have to. Oh, and again, I think for the uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know what to say, chat. This is just cooked. Unlucky, they bro. Have a lot going on. There's a lot to be excited about, and it couldn't have come at a better moment. We're gonna throw it down to Elizabeth on the stage for the Verizon post-match interview. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> You're all good. Well, I found the real king, everyone. Wait, what is my story? Literal king, congratulations on two very, very convincing maps. Now, Fuck, dude, imagine if I got the Reaper Krambits. Why do I get everything but the Reaper Krambits? Dude, I'm actually gonna be so pissed if I... I have to check my collection, because, like, I swear to God, I, like, imagine myself buying it sometimes, and I'm like, what if I just bought this skin, and, like, I never realized it? Like, what if I just always had the Reaver Krambit? All along. In the interviews, uh, after listening to Cloud9, we we got into the, like this chalk state. We were proccing bad. The scrim results were bad. We didn't know how to play. Like we literally forgot how to play. And after that, uh, as a team, we agreed like, okay, like stop joking around. Like lock in again. We do this. We do this. We started prepping so hard. And the only thing we needed to like get that get that leap and be the team that we know we can be was to be like. Uh, a single team and the best team that could happen to us was Sentinels. All right. Well, talk to me about that prep because I talked to Goket in between the maps. You see you guys prepped very, very heavy. You're talking about that now. What was the prep with NRG? I mean, with NRG, obviously, like the maps they had, uh, we saw the two series against uh, Furia and who else was the other team? I forgot. A team. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. so, All right, fuck this, man. I'm going to sleep chat. I'll see you guys. Good night. See you next time.